One Direction's in a little bit of hot water today because people out there are accusing them of stealing the idea for their most recent music video for you and I. That's right, people. The video has been out for a full week now, and the similarities between 1D's latest music video and a video by the group Club Beat are causing a bit of a stir. So let's just start out with the facts, and first let's take a look at this clip from 1D's video. And now, here's a clip from Club Feet's video. FYI, this was released back in early 2013. So after watching that, I gotta say, it's hard to deny the similarities. So basically, here is the deal. Club Feet has released a statement calling out the band for using their idea. They said this, Quote, late Friday night, whilst we were busy observing the good traditions of the public holiday, something very suspicious was brought to our attention. It seems that the chaps of One Direction have taken it upon themselves to regurgitate our original concept, as seen in our award-winning clip for Club Feet's Everything You Wanted. Don't get us wrong, we here at Oh Yeah Wow, the production company behind the video, are big One Direction fans and are envious of their ability to maintain flawless hairdos. To be crystal clear, OYW has nothing against creative evolution. Artists constantly reinterpret other works that have inspired them, and we're fine with people taking a technique and using it to create something new. The wider problem is that plagiarism and copycatting is becoming increasingly common and acceptable. Yikes! Well, everybody, this would not be the first time the lads of 1D have been accused of using an idea that wasn't their own. As you might recall, they were accused of using Def Leppard's Pour Some Sugar On Me for their tune Midnight Memories. Midnight Memories. Some also thought they stole the first part of the clashes, should I stay or should I go, for live while we're young. It's a bummer, but guys, let's not forget, even artists like Beyonce and Lady Gaga have been accused of plagiarism, so there's always that, right? And I also want to ask you guys this question, just to get you thinking. Do you think that if 1D wasn't famous, this band would be accusing them of stealing their ideas? I personally don't think so, but at the end of the day, this accusation is bringing Club Feet tons of exposure, so it's sort of like a big win for them. I'm just throwing that out there, no judgment obviously. Moreover, I want to know, do you guys think 1D is even familiar with Club Feet? If you have any details, I would love to hear from you, and I want to hear what you guys think. So did they blatantly rip off Club Feet's idea? Get into the debate by heading on down to the comment section below and make sure to click right on over here, right here guys, to find out seven things you might not know about the popular boy band. And yes, I'm talking about One Direction right now. You should also probably hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on everything 1D. I'm your host, Jocelyn Davis. Thanks for keeping it locked right here at Clever News.